go now. Good for the brain. Good for the vocals. Warm them up. When did you first start vaping? Oh, uh, start of sixth year. I was in a terrible mental state and decided to be self-destructive. Uh, <laughs> My name's Fikra. What is up, guys? Welcome to the crib. Oh. Music has always been a big part of my life. My mom played fiddle growing up and we were all involved with the choir and plays and just musical productions. And yeah, we'd listen to music constantly. Mainly growing up, it was rock and roll. Guitar, drums, bass, this is Shaniqua. We're a couple. Look how pretty she is. Look at her. I met her in this old music shop. Her father, Patty, uh, wasn't too sure to begin with, but after, after you know, a few bob under the table, he thought that's all right. Um, like, I'm only good at chess when I'm high because I, like, completely zone into it. Everything else goes out the door. And I've been told that like when I'm when I'm playing chess, when I'm baked, all you can hear in the room is me breathing like a fucking animal. Like a bear in heat. <laughs> Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? My influences ah oh probably Springsteen would be like I, you can't go without that one. I mean there's not an album I haven't listened to. Went to see Springsteen. I've seen him three times at this point. And then the second time I went to see him was in Crow Park. We found a line and joined it. And after a few hours, we realized this is the line for the pits. My dad put me up on his shoulders and there was a wee platform coming out from the stage right in front of where we were. And Springsteen was the other side of the stage when he put me up and he was doing waiting on a sunny day. And he ran over to our side and he pointed and I just thought he was pointing out into the crowd you know trying to get everyone going and before I know it I'm being pushed my dad's being pushed with me on his shoulders up towards the stage and I get pulled up and I butchered the chorus of waiting on a sunny day with the boss himself That was a bizarre experience. I remember being in the uh, the hotel afterwards, and I was tw like 12 or 13, and I was and I was having grown men come up to me, being like, "Are you the lad on stage with Springsteen?" But uh, I knew I knew I'd hit it big time when I I came home, and by the end of the week, there was a whole section in the parish newsletter about me getting on stage with Springsteen. <laughs> um, the parish newsletter is when you know you've hit it big time. That's, there's no, there's no peak higher than that. Like. I started to write my own music around fifth year. I would say. I don't know, it's an outlet for me. Music has always been an outlet. It's tactile and emotional. <laughs> I, I only started playing music for people, really, uh, with, the, with the assistance of copious quantities of alcohol. I'll have to continue building my confidence and my ability before I'm comfortable enough to release or properly perform my own stuff. I'm, for now, I'm just tapping away. <laughs> Why are we living when taking and giving and with a stock at the end of a knife and we'll go backwards. We'll go backwards. We'll go
Yeah. I sound really fucking pretentious. You are. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I've, would you consider yourself a perfectionist? 